presenting Super Psychic by Phototherm. The best got better. Super Psychic is the next generation of the standard sidekick. The best universal film processors in the world. Super Sidekick takes advantage of advances in computer technology and 12 years of experience in designing, building, and working with Sidekick film processors to reliably achieve the highest quality results and yet be very easy to operate. Phototherm has been manufacturing photographic processing equipment for over 25 years. Phototherm also manufactures a line of blood plasma thawing machines that are used in hospitals around the world. Like film processors, blood plasma thawers require accurate temperatures and controlled agitation. Super Sidekick uses a patented revolutionary processing concept of handling one solution at a time. This simple idea gives Super Sidekick many advantages. Super Sidekick can be connected to up to 18 different solutions in storage bottles at the same time. Each solution for each process has an individual tube. You never have to switch tubing. The solutions need to be put in bottles only once a week. The operator just loads the film on auto loading reels in a dark box and puts the reels in a light proof film drum. Then in daylight, inserts the drum into Super Sidekick. The operator then tells Super Sidekick the type of film and how many rolls to process. Super Sidekick does everything else automatically. Super Sidekick can process 35 millimeter, 120, 220, APS, 70 millimeter, and 4x5 sheets. It can process color slides E6, color negative, and black and white films. It can also process infrared and black and white slide films. Super Sidekick will select the proper solution for the type of film you are processing. Then pump that solution through the selector valve and into the heating tank where it will automatically measure the proper amount of chemistry and then quickly and accurately bring it up to temperature. Meanwhile, the film drum is heated by warm air. When everything is at temperature, Super Sidekick pumps the prepared solution from the heating tank into the film drum and the actual processing starts. Ag agitation is a random back and forth in and out motion for very even results. The film drum has a temperature sensor mounted in the solution right next to the film. If the solution cools slightly, warm air is blowing the heat transferring corrugated bottom of the film drum to maintain the precise correct temperature. This advanced method of maintaining the temperature eliminates the need for old-fashioned very slow water jackets. It allows Super Sidekick to quickly change the different solution temperatures even in the same process. While one solution is processing in the film drum, the next solution is loaded and prepared in the heating tank. When the processing step is complete, the solution in the film drum is drained through the dump tube 
or saved for reuse, silver recovery, or replenishment. The prepared solution is then pumped from the heating tank to the film drum. This cycle continues until the last solution, including stabilizer, is drained. When the process needs tempered water, Super Sidekick heats it internally, thereby eliminating the need for expensive and energy-wasting thermostatic water valves. Super Sidekick calls the operator back when it is finished. The film can then be dried externally or in the included utility dryer. Super Sidekick takes two minutes to clean itself out and because it is not chained to a water bath temperature is ready to process any type of film at its correct processing temperature. Bleach and fix are automatically saved for automatic replenishment or silver recovery. Next time Super Sidekick pumps up the bleach, it will pump up a small amount of expensive fresh bleach and a lot of the used bleach for a substantial saving in chemical costs. You get the highest quality results because the inexpensive developers are always fresh. You can easily reprogram Super Sidekick for your requirements. You can program the type of slide process, the type of color negative process, all the preset times, the solutions you want to save, the replenishment rates, and the rotational speed. It is also very easy to push process. Super Sidekick anticipates potential problems by testing its parts, looking at multiple sensors, and taking corrective action. After the process is finished, Super Sidekick informs the operator when a maintenance procedure should be performed. Super Sidekick has many advantages over every other processor in the world. There is no handling of chemicals. Chemicals are loaded in bottles only once a week. Super Sidekick pumps up the correct chemical when it is needed. Super Sidekick can do any process at any time. It can process slides at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then after a short automatic flush it can process black and white film at 75 degrees Fahrenheit all without switching any solutions. Each solution temperature is independent. Super Sidekick heats its own water internally. It does not need to be tied to expensive thermostatic valves or buckets of heated water. There is no warm-up time. Super Sidekick quickly and accurately heats the small amount of solution needed for that process step. Automatic replenishing of bleach and fix saves on chemical costs while maintaining high quality because the developers are always fresh. There are two models available. The SSK-8R is a replenishing unit that does up to eight rolls at a time. It saves two solutions and has all the features that were presented. The model SSK4 does up to four rolls at a time. It has automatic solution loading, but no automatic replenishing. It saves one solution, which can be manually replenished. It has a preset rotational speed. If your needs increase, you can always convert your unit to the SSK-8R for just the price difference. Now 
now that you understand what Super Sidekick does, the next section will show you how to set it up and operate it. Set up Super Sidekick on a flat surface. A utility cart works very well as a stand. Read the important sheet. Read the instruction book to make sure you received all of the parts. Enter the serial number and the purchase date on the front page. Read the instruction book. The first thing you will have to do is cut away the straps that hold the pumps during shipping. Cut the straps, then throw the straps away. The magnetic stirrer must be put into the heat tank. Open the door by lifting from the bottom. The magnetic stirrer looks like a white pill. Place the magnetic stirrer on the stainless bottom of the heating tank and push it with a pencil until you see the magnet latch. Now is the time to put batteries into the unit. Remove the cover. Insert six C-cells and replace the cover. The batteries will hold Super Sidekick's memory in case of a short power failure. Super Sidekick can also be connected to a standard computer type uninterruptible power supply for full operation in case of a long power failure. See the instruction book. Rinse out the bottles. Insert the notched end of the black tubing into the fitting and then Tighten the fitting. Label the bottle and the cap with the solution they will contain. All the solution connections are on the back of the unit. All the solutions going into the unit, including water, are pumped up from bottles. They are connected to the selector valve. The tubes are numbered. Each tube is used for a particular solution. There are four drain tubes on the back of the unit. Dump is for the solutions that are thrown away. Flush is also thrown away. When the save switch is on, that is when the red is showing, the expensive replenishable bleach comes out of the save bleach tube and the silver bearing solutions come out of the save fix tube. This tube can be connected to an inexpensive silver recovery cartridge. The Super Sidekick 4 roll model saves only one solution. The Super Sidekick 8 roll model saves two solutions. The level sensor from the dump bottle plugs in here and the power cord plugs in here. It is very important to run the drain tubing properly. Read the instruction book. The drain tubing must run straight down. The end of the tubing must always be in the air, not in solution. And there must be at least a 12 inch drop from the bottom of the unit to the drain. Connect tubing to the dump fitting and the flush fitting. Push the tubing about halfway on the stainless steel tubes. Do not push on all the way or they will be very hard to remove. Run the tubing to the dump bottle or to a plumbed-in drain. 
cut the tubing so that it can never get under solution level in the dump bottle. Stick it in the gray throat of the dump bottle. Never put a third tube in the same dump bottle. When you want to connect the safe fittings, use a different bottle. The level sensor from the dump bottle plugs into the dump sensor fitting. The solution in tubing that is connected to the selector valve must go straight down for at least 12 inches. It can then go flat or even turn up. The solution bottles must be below super sidekick. Make the tubing longer to allow two feet of slack for ease of handling. Cut the tubing so that it is long enough to reach the solution bottles under the machine. Allow an extra two feet for slack in the line. Label both ends of the tubing. Push the tubing about a half inch on the proper tube. The label on the back of the unit lists the solutions and their tube numbers. Connect the tubing to the proper solution bottle. The water bottle is connected the same way. The water bottle can be filled manually or it can be connected to any cold water copper pipe for automatic refilling. Connect the saddle valve to the pipe with two screws. Attach one end of the tubing that comes with the kit to the water valve. Use an insert in the end of the tubing. Tighten lightly with a wrench. Attach the other end of the tubing to the float valve of the water bottle. Turn the handle of the valve clockwise to puncture the pipe. Turn the handle counterclockwise to open the valve to fill the bottle. The float valve will stop the flow when the bottle is full. Always turn the valve off by turning clockwise when the unit is left unattended. Plug Super Sidekick into a standard grounded outlet. Turn the unit on. Check if the magnetic stirrer is turning. Replace the door and turn the unit off. Super Sidekick has four modes of operation. For normal processing, just turn the unit on. If you wish to program changes, hold start as you turn the unit on plus as you turn the unit on for test mode. Hold minus as you turn the unit on for diagnostics mode. You will need to program the unit code to be 7. Hold the start switch as you turn the unit on to turn on programming mode. Super Sidekick will first show you the switch functions. Keep these in mind and you will find that it is very easy to program any changes you need. Pushing plus shows the next selection. Pushing minus lets the unit know that you want to change something. Plus then shows you the choices. When the correct selection is displayed, push start to record the selection. It's that simple. Turn the unit off when you are finished. When the top display line reads unit code, the second line shows a single digit number. Push minus because you want to change that number. 
you will hear a double chirp. Push plus to change the number to seven. You will hear single chirps. Push start to record the change. You will hear a triple chirp. You are finished programming the unit code. Programming the unit code is done only once when you first set up the unit. You can now turn the unit off. But while you are in this menu, use plus to see all the things you can change. The instruction book has a fuller description of what the changes do. Run a drain test before you start processing. Make sure you have the dump line connected, that you have water in a water bottle, and it is connected to tube number five of the selector valve. Insert the bottom half of the large film drum into Super Sidekick. Put Super Sidekick in test mode by holding plus as you turn the power on. The display will show how many runs and how many rolls were processed on your unit. It will then show other information. The display will then ask if you want to do a drain test. Press start to begin the test. Observe the test. Super Sidekick will load water into the heating tank and then pump the water to the film drum. It will then drain the water from the film drum into the dump bottle. The cycle is repeated three times. If the sequence goes to completion, your drain is good. If there is something wrong with your drain system, the film drum will start to overflow. Turn Super Sidekick off Recheck the way your drain tubing is running. The empty Super Sidekick to perform another test. Turn Super Sidekick on in normal mode. Do not hold any other switches. Push plus until the display shows drain. Then push start. The solution in the heating tank and the film drum will drain to the dump bottle. Redo the drain test until it works correctly. Start loading 35 millimeter film in daylight. Pull the leader from the cassette, cut it square, and trim the edges. Start the film into the reel past the ball bearings. In a dark box or a dark room, position the ball bearings of the reel away from you. Pull down on the cassette and twist one side back and forth. The film loads automatically on the reel. At the end of the roll, cut off the cassette and continue loading until the end of the film is past the ball bearings on the reel. Push the reel onto the spindle. If there is room, slide a spacer onto the spindle to save chemistry. Put the spindle in the drum. Prepare the lid by pushing the sliders towards the middle of the lid and put the lid on the drum. The air vent should be towards the back of the drum. Push the sliders towards the end of the drum to lock it. Rotate the spindle to test if it turns freely. The reel should be put on the spindle as shown. One twenty and two twenty film is loaded differently. 
twist the Patterson reel and spread it out to its largest size. Twist back. In the dark, remove the paper backing and tape from the film and start to film onto the reel. Use your thumbs on top of the film to help load the film. When the film goes past the ball bearings of the reel, lock the film in place with two film clamps. For extra assurance, you can tape the end of the film to the clamps with a one inch piece of leader tape. Solution enters and leaves the film drum through the snout. The film is agitated by rotating the spindle and the reels back and forth and in and out for perfectly even processing. The drum has a second temperature controller to adjust the temperature of the solution right next to the film. Push the drum into the unit. Make sure the spindle pins go on either side of the staple. Super Sidekick is now ready to start processing. Turn the unit on. Use plus to select the film type. And then press start. Super Sidekick tests the temperature sensor of the drum and then asks how many rolls you are processing. Press plus to tell Super Sidekick how many 35 millimeter rolls you are processing. Check the instruction book when processing other film sizes. Press start. From then on, everything is automatic. Super Sidekick will signal when the process is finished. Just do what the display says. Remove the drum, lift the back slightly as you pull the drum out. Put in a plug to close off the coupling. The film is ready for drying. It has already been through stabilizer or final rinse. Press start to let Super Sidekick flush itself. Rinse the reels, spindle, and film drum in cool water. You are now ready to start any other process. Use your own film dryer if you have one. If not, you can use the included auxiliary film dryer for 35 millimeter film only. 120, 220, and 4x5 film require a different dryer. In programming mode, you will have to tell Super Sidekick that you want to dry after flushing. Place the dry tube on the unit, open the drum, and take each reel off the spindle and shake it out vigorously. Push the reel on the end of the dry spindle and put it in the dry tube. Push start. Super Sidekick will then flush itself in about two minutes and continue drying for 15 minutes. Super Sidekick is very easy to maintain. Wipe out the trough after each processing run. Push in the contactor springs daily. Keep the stainless plates on the drum clean. Do not touch with your hands. Clean with alcohol and buff with scotch brights daily. Every week, grease the O-rings with the silicone grease provided. Once a year, open the unit and clean it on the inside. See the instruction book. You should run clean lines when you're changing the type of chemicals or if there's any suspicion of chemical problems. Pry all the solution tubing from the selector valve. Do not cut or scratch the selector valve tubes with a metal object or they may later leak. Connect the water bottle line to tube number 18. 
Empty the dump bottle and make sure it is connected. Turn the unit on and use plus to select clean lines. Press start. Sidekick will pump up water from the water bottle through tube number 18. You can then move the water tubing to the next lower tube, number 17. Super Sidekick will dump the previous water and then pump fresh water through tube number 17. Move the water tubing to the next lower tube. Continue until Super Sidekick finishes at tube number 1. Move the water line to its normal position number 5 and Super Sidekick will finish off by performing a flush. The next section shows you how to push process, program the preset time of a process step, and how to use the accessory slide mounter. Pushing changes the developer time for one run. Turn the unit on. Select the process and hold minus as you press start. The developer time is displayed. Use plus and minus to change the developer time and press start to process your film. Programming changes the preset time for future runs. Hold start as you turn the unit on. Super Sidekick will show the instructions. Plus advances the selections. Minus means you want to change that selection. Start records the selection. When you are finished, turn the unit off. To change the fixed time in color negatives, push plus to advance to change all times. Push minus to make changes. Push plus until color negatives is displayed. Push minus because you want to change the color negative process. Push plus until fix is displayed. Push minus because you want to change the color negative fix time. Use plus and minus to change the time. Push start to record the time. You can then turn the unit off or push plus to make other changes in the color negative process. If you purchased our slide mounter, turn the light on. Feed a piece of film and advance it with the wheel until the marker lines up with the frame line. Press down to cut the film evenly. Take the slide mount and place the end that opens into the mounter. Push down the back of the mount. Advance the film, advance the film until the marker lines up with the next frame line. Cut the film. The film is positioned in the mount as you push it out. Super Sidekick will give you high quality results and is easy to operate if you understand her. Read your instruction book. It has a lot of additional information. 
All operators must watch this video. Contact Phototherm if you need more help. Thank you.